Hello and welcome to Creativity Corners with your host, Don Manuel. And Deborah. And we're here live going to do an episode on how to Comic Con. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we just went to our first Comic Con uh, last month and we learned a lot. And we found out a whole bunch of things we wish we had known before we went. So we're going to share those with you in case you want to go to Comic Con next year in so new york comic-con is october 8 through 11 2020. i don't know if it's for san diego comic-con which is the big you know uber mecca one but uh new york we're right up there so we're going to take a quick little uh few seconds to uh, share this video out real quick uh to catch them facebook algorithms and uh we're going to get live with you very shortly on how to comic-con they have been getting on my nerves, those Facebook algorithms. Oh, there's a lot of algorithms going on right now that y'all need to be aware of. And that's going to be for another episode. Okay. I only shared one place because I'm lame. But he shares lots. So Comic Con, my first is ever Comic Con. I've always wanted to go. Did it as part of my last um, 40 days in my 40s, and um, had a absolute blast. We went Thursday and Friday of Comic Con this time, and and uh, you know we have plans for different things for next year, but we'll let you know. We've got a bunch of swag here actually that we picked up. We're going to show you some of it if you're interested, including some Comic Con exclusives, which. We're all about the exclusive stuff and a tale of how I <clears throat> made my husband stand in line four times because I am a virtual hoarder. I'm not a hoarder in real life, but when it comes to nerd stuff or video games, it turns out I am a hoarder. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Right, ready so. How to Comic Con. How to Comic Con. All right. Getting there. Airbnb. I recommend we are not paid by Airbnb. First of all, let's get that out the way. In fact, nobody on this video is paying us for anything. But, so. but they could if they wanted to. They could if they wanted to. We would not be opposed to getting paid. But I recommend Airbnb. Hotel prices get jacked when com during Comic Con. Like every you know, folks know it's Comic Con, and they jack up hotel prices. Comic Con in New York is at the Javits Center, which is just off the Lincoln Tunnel. Like you get off the Lincoln Tunnel, you look to your right, it's the Javits Center. We found a great Airbnb two blocks from the Javits Center for less than half of what we would have paid for a hotel overnight. And yeah, can't recommend it enough. Airbnb. All right. Um, note that some events are offsite. Right. Like the Harley Quinn exhibit, actually. Yeah. There was a, uh, a pop up at uh, Harley Quinn and uh, her crew. Came and did for DC Universe, which was super cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure we'll talk more about that. Yeah, we will. Um, yeah. Other events that were offsite, there was a um, anime fest going on at the same time. They um, some of the actual panels for Comic Con are held at four different locations around the city, not just in the Javits Center. And they did do a survey afterwards to ask how people felt about that um, having offsite locations for things. I'm not a fan. There you go. Not a fan. All right. Um, get your tickets early. So I think we waited four or five days once they went on sale to the public. Yep. And we were only able to get tickets for Thursday and Friday. We could have gotten tickets for Sunday, but we were going to miss Saturday. Saturday was gone, and four-day passes were gone. So a cool thing about attending Comic-Con is the next year – you get pre-sale tickets. So this next year, we'll be able to get pre-sale tickets to Comic-Con and hopefully get. Right. Okay. So there's just some logistics. Airbnb, get your tickets early. Note that some events are off-site, and if you like them, stay in that area. All right, logistics. Yes. See, look at this picture of Comic-Con. Humans everywhere. Hello. Okay. So... You want to cover logistics? This was your big area. Uh, so pretty much, like I said, make sure to bring drinks with you, bring snacks. 
they do, you know, sell things to eat and drink there by all means. But like most places, prices tend to be a little bit uh, pricey. Uh, so eight dollars for a bottle of water. An eight dollar bottle of water. Yeah. So you can bring in your own water. Uh, you can bring in your own food. And the lines for food were insanely long. Like we stood in lines quite a bit, but we never stood in line for food. Nope. Yeah. So we make sure because we didn't know to bring our own stuff. So next year. Right. So make sure to wear comfy shoes. You're going to be doing a lot of walking. Uh, the Jacob Javits Center is a pretty huge uh, convention center. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're walking back and forth. You're waiting in lines. Uh, make sure to wear comfy shoes, comfy sneakers, mm -hmm. whatever you feel most comfortable in. Make sure to wear those. Uh, bring a Sharpie. Bring a Sharpie. Uh, you never know who you're going to bump into. Uh, we are going to discuss this later on. Uh, there are some that you have to pay for, but there's a lot of people there uh, that will give you an autograph uh, just because they're they're happy and proud of their work. Yeah. Uh, so make sure to bring a Sharpie with you. A lot of people are very open to yeah, that. Including artists, comic book artists are there, authors are there, uh, interesting things that you don't expect. I didn't expect to see wrestlers. Right. Okay. Um, all so, yeah. Okay. And phone chargers and battery packs for your phone. Right. You want to make sure you keep your phone nice and charged. You're going to take lots of pictures. Hopefully, Hopefully. you should be taking lots of pictures, lots of videos, uh, a lot of cool things. So you want to capture. So make sure you keep your phone charged. But note that the cell service in the Jacob Javits Center, not so much. Yeah. Right? So people would run outside to download an app or something to, and we'll tell you why they did that, but they would run outside to get something to download and then come back in. So note that you might not have the best coverage all day long. Download the mobile app. Download the mobile app. Um, NYCC is what it looks like and New York Comic Con. So you can search for either one on Android or iPhone, NYCC or New York Comic Con. Get that mobile app and keep it on. So not only does it tell you what um, sessions you've booked or scheduled or shows the schedule or any that sort of thing, where the exhibitors are, you're looking for a specific artist, you can find it all in that app. But they will pop up um, unexpected guests or unexpected events in, uh, through the app. So, for example, Ryan Reynolds showed up at Comic Con to do an unplanned. I mean, I'm sure it was planned, but they told us, okay, what? New to us. Um, and you had to just get to the main stage as fast as you could um, after you saw that. And so, and nobody was like, oh my God, Ryan, no one was telling anyone because they wanted to be the one to get in. Did we get in? No. No. There, which, there, were, there were a lot of humans. Which like brings we said. us to learn the floor plan. Yes. We didn't know where the main stage was. Because we hadn't had a chance to go there yet. Just running, running around trying to find it. And people were being helpful. One person tried to send us the wrong direction on right. purpose. We're pretty sure because they got the Ryan Reynolds notification. We missed it by like 20 feet of people. I mean, there was a lot of people in that 20 feet, but we didn't make it. But we knew about it. Okay. So learn the floor plan. Learn where um, the main stage is going to be. Learn where your sessions are. Learn, learn the floor plan when you get there or before you go. Um, go, go all four days if you can. If you can. If you can. There's so much to see, so much to do, and so many lines to stand in. <laughs> We're gonna get to that. I'm only slightly embarrassed. Marvel's Roma Champion coming 2020. <laughs> right, go all four days if you can. The other thing is some of the, like the free merchandise or the giveaways, are day specific. So, for example, um, notice my two empty spots because we didn't go Saturday or Sunday. So these were given away at the um, the new Birds of Prey um, movie that's coming out. Super excited for that, right? Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn's in it, and so they gave away a pin each day of Comic Con, right? So we got the the dude pin and we got the shark pin. Now the Harley Quinn pin was a secret. And if you didn't go to that Harley Quinn pop up that Don Manuel mentioned, and we actually, it was a kitty corner from our Airbnb, which was the best ever. I tell you where it was, but I want it for next year. So, um, so there's that. Um, if you went there, you got the Harley Quinn pin. 
So, so we have three out of the five pins. If any of you went Saturday and Sunday and didn't want your pin, give it to us. Um, the other thing is get there early and plan to stay late. You are not going to just breeze in and breeze out of Comic-Con. We got there as it opens, and we were there until it closed. Yeah, yeah. We were. And actually, the day that we did a panel, we were there later because the panel actually started after Comic-Con was over. When you get there, there's going to be a lot of humans. Embrace these humans as your own. Most of these humans are nice humans, too. Like, right? Like, nerdy people, we tend to be pretty nice. Not a lot of rude people, not a lot of slamming into each other. Everybody chatty, 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 chatty. Um, so, but in Britain, you're, you're, there's going to be people everywhere. There's going to be lines for everything you want to do. Everything. Everything you want to do, there's going to be a line. So, embrace that make it part of the experience talk to people make friends in line i know that i'm an introvert i know it doesn't seem that way i'm an introvert but i talk to humans you find out stuff right? right what was your favorite thing you've done so far what was your best free swag thing what do you ask people and then go do stuff right right so let's talk about the lines and line management would you like to talk about your wife, or would you like her to tell the story? Um, I'd like to see her version of the story. Okay, so what really happened was, no, <laughs> we got in line for um, this Marvel game, and it turns out, do we have enough one? It turns out um, that you got to once you stood in line, you got to go inside. And in this big, big room thingy, right? Inside was a giant throne, and there was all kinds of Avengers stuff on it. Like, I got to put on Loki's helmet, hold Cap's shield, like lots of stuff. But you got to see, oh, thank you, love, that's so helpful. Um, you got to see, flip it for me, would you? <clears throat> Each of these realms and learn about each one. So, like, Shuri is running Wakanda now, and Okay, this is you. You, you. Well, so yeah, as we as she was saying, Shuri is running uh, Wakanda, which where we have the Kingdom of Wakanda. Then we have House of Iron, right? Which is ran actually by a virtual reality version right. of uh, Tony Stark. Because spoiler alert, Iron Man is dead. Uh, Spider Guild. Which we have Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen. Yeah. So it's super cool. Okay, super cool. And as part of the experience, you get to pick your house, right? And when you picked your house, which house you wanted to belong to, House of Iron, Temple of Ashanti, the Gamma Horde, Patriot Garrison, Pyramid X, I write all of them. When you picked your house, you got a swag bag. It's like a whole bag. Where's my bag? A whole bag with swag, right? Including uh, a banner and a pin for the house that you chose. Which sounds awesome, right? And it totally was. And we got one of each and we went about our day and we had a great day. Right? We came back the next day and we thought, well, if we go stand in line first thing, maybe we'll, because it was like an hour and a half wait in that line, like an hour and a half to get through the line to go to the thing and get your swag back. We each picked different houses for like a different house, good different. Like, That's awesome. Okay. So we're like, if we go early, then we can get in line early. Maybe it won't take so long. We'll get two other houses. It'll be great. And so we did, except it was still an hour and a half in line. Okay. Everybody else did the same thing. So we got two other houses. And I don't know what happened in my brain. Comic-Con fatigue. Not sure. But I was like, you know what? If we stood in this line one more time, we could get the last two houses and we'd have a complete set. And so we did. And then somewhere in there, I real when we were picking our houses for the last two, I realized there were still two more. And I had to have them. So I asked, so I asked my super awesome and amazing husband to get in line with me one more time. And an hour and a half each time. Because all I could think of is, here for Creativity Corner, we're going to hang six banners and six pins. And when the game comes out next year and we play it and we review it, we're like, here's the six houses. We don't have all eight because we didn't stand in line one more time. So we stood in line. And we got the last two. 
Now, I did try to ask the lovely folks there if they would just let me have the last two because they knew I'd been in that line three times, and they were like, that's a dangerous precedence. We can't do it. So we stood in line again. But as a bonus, Don Manuel did get to interview. And if you were at, you know, followed us during Comic-Con, you saw, and maybe we'll post it again just for fun. Right. Um, he got to interview some of the game designers, the game developer, like the first project manager. Um, so that was amazing. So we got to do an interview with the folks. And we stood in line four times. But we did spend about six hours of our Comic-Con experience in the Marvel Realm of Champions line. Yes, so, we did. Line management, pick your priorities. Are you a hoarder? Do you need all eight houses? You better get a friend. But when we talk about talking to people, we met people in that line. We held space for people. They went and got us coffee while they were getting coffee for themselves. We met this lovely woman who gave us her phone because she had been able to download all these apps to get free swag because um, you have to show that you've downloaded the app. And so we would just take it over and we would show it. So like I went over and I showed them and I got all the free swag. So I came back, gave the phone to Don Mamo, and he went over, showed them, he got all the free swag. So you can make friends and do cool things for you. So talk to people. Talk to people. Talk to people. Cosplay. Can you, there's, a, there's a cute man up there. Look at that. We're still looking at all the guilds. All the guilds. We really did stand in line a long time. We grabbed every single one. So we had to show you all guys real quick. <laughs> okay. Cosplay. So I was off-duty Wonder Woman. So I had on my Wonder Woman underroof and a robe. A Wonder Woman robe, of course. Yeah. And Damon Ma here was off-duty Superman. So he's Clark Kent, essentially. Oh, but you can see his little Superman through. And, uh, yeah. So... Cosplay at Comic Con, y'all. Just do it. It's the best. It's the best. Don't be like, oh, that's so nerdy or that's so dorky. It is so nerdy and so dorky. Do it. It is so fun. Everyone talks to you. The other cosplayers bond with you. Right. You get to have cool images like this. So I have a little theme that I went around and I was beating up all the villains. And of course, Superman versus Batman, you know, Superman had to. But it's very fun, um, and uh, like our friends Caitlin and Danielle says, feel free to ask to take pictures with them. Mm -hmm. They take so much time creating their costumes mm -hmm. and their cosplay. You know, it makes them feel just as special as you see them in it. So make sure to interact with one another. Take pictures. Take tons of pictures. It's, it's all about pictures. So we were a little <laughs> lazy about our cosplay, but we knew we wanted to, I mean, I wasn't going to do it, but then someone reminded me it was my last 40 days in my 40s, and when was I ever going to do it again? It's Comic-Con, and oh my gosh. So we did. But we didn't put a lot of effort into it. I'm not going to lie. Next year, we're going to put effort in. People are insane. They are so good. What was your, do you remember your favorite? What was your favorite? Uh, oh, my favorite. That's mm. a good one. Um, I thought the... The, oh, what are the guys from uh, Good Omens? Those oh. that, they 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 did an awesome job at. They embodied it. it. They um, really did. The, that one was pretty cool. I saw a Thanos, which I was upset I didn't get to take a picture with because we were waiting good. in line. Uh, there was a lot of great costumes. You know the cosplays. ladies that did the 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 Catwoman, the the, the bad girl ladies. Yeah. They were good too. Yeah, they were. And they were they they just stood there and everyone wanted their picture with them. And they got right. I mean, they didn't just stand there and like take a bit. I mean, they got into their character. Catwoman was like in some slinky down pose, holding a stolen necklace. Like, we're gonna put some effort in. So cosplay, yeah. just do it. Photo and autograph session. <gasps> Is that me with James Marster? Yes. And I wasn't gonna do this. I really wasn't, because it costs money. So we do want to talk about that. It does cost money. So plan on spending some money. Um, and it can range from like $20 for an autograph to $40 for a photo, all the way up to Tom Hiddleston was there at $280. Um, and Paul Rudd was there at $260. And those were the two most expensive ones. <clears throat> also the two most popular. So, but everyone else was there. Cordelia was there from Buffy. And there, Paul Rubens was there. I mean, there was a lot of people. I could have... I could have spent all of our money, but forever and ever, I wanted to meet James Marsters. Um, some of you know him as Spike from Buffy, um, but a whole bunch of other um, television and movies as well. And he also does audiobook voices, and I have his audiobooks as well, so I'm like a fan. Mm -hmm. um, 
And he encouraged me to do it. He was like, seriously, like, when are you going to have another chance? And honestly, I might not. I mean, maybe we won't go to Comic-Con next year. I don't know why we wouldn't. Maybe but he won't be at Comic-Con. Maybe Comic -Con. he won't be at Comic-Con next year. I don't know. So we did it. So I did the um, photo and autograph package um, which was sixty dollars and so one of my other tips is schedule it early in the day as possible because then you just you go there you get that done and if you have to stay in the line for six hours to get all of the marble flags um, and pins you have time to do that uh, if you schedule it for later in the day you have to leave what you're doing and come back so try to do it earlier in the day and then it is okay if you fangirl or fanboy out and squeak because mm -hmm. I did it just a little bit. I mean, like, whoo, I did. Totally supportive here, right? Like, mm -hmm. yep. And uh, then actually we did an add-on, which you may have seen already, Creativity Corner, folks. Um, he did a video for us where he um, talked to Creativity Corner, and it was totally worth it. And he used his Spike British accent, so that was pretty amazing as well. And I might spend a little alone time with that later, but that's okay. <laughs> Panels. Right. The panels. Okay, so panels, what we learned this year, um, previous ticket holders get panel lottery first, so that'll be us next year, and then regular folks, us this year. Um, it's a panel lottery, so you can submit for the panels that you would like to go to, and the exclusive swag that you would like for purchase, that you would like an opportunity to buy. You submit for that too, for each day. And then you find out if you get it or you don't. And so we did not get in for Neil deGrasse Tyson, super sad. Um, but we did get in for the screening of Wonder Woman and the panel discussion with the cast afterwards, including Rosario Dawson. So that was pretty amazing. What we learned later, yeah, right? I know, a little bit for me, a little bit for him. She's a little bit for me, though, too. That's just She's okay. a little bit for uh, everybody. Anyway, moving on. Um, what we learned, though, a day late, um, is that even if you didn't make the lottery for a panel discussion, you can go there the day that you come in and try to tap in. And so that means you go to where you want the session to be, start from like the second you walk in the door, you go there. And you try to tap in, which means you go there with your Comic-Con, what is that thing? Where are Badge. They? Badge, your badges. And you tap the badge on this thing and see if there's any spaces left. And so I learned the next day that Neil deGrasse Tyson didn't fill up until 3 o'clock the day before because nobody knew you could go tap in. And I would have done that, like, the second I walked in. So two ways to get in, lottery or tap in. Now, what did you love about the panel? Um, well, one, I love that we got to witness the movie the same time as the majority of the cast. So while we're watching it for the first time, so were they. So we got to see their their actual reaction on how they felt about the performance, about the interactions with they one cried. another. A lot of the cast members just met each other because it was an animated uh, movie. Mm -hmm. So they just were meeting each other for the first time because yeah. scheduling, you know, sometimes. And it's a lot easier to get people for animation than, you know, getting them all together at one time. So it was really cool to experience that energy with them because you could feel it. You know, they were, they were, you could see the emotions in them. So I thought that was probably the coolest part about at least this panel, which was the one that we got to see. Mm -hmm. um, so that was pretty cool. Also, I got this T-shirt there because they were throwing to so seriously with the swag people. Don't be shy. Grab it. OK. Anyway, so they were looking for for, you know, someone to give T-shirts to. And I was dressed as Wonder Woman in her underwear that day. So I jumped up and showed off my underwear and New York Comic Con t-shirt. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Okay, so panels, go. Um, I think I would have gone to more. And next year I might go to, to more just because you don't know what's going to happen. Right. right? Okay. Disappointments. Brownie faces. So you guys here that follow us at Creativity Corner, you know, if, if there's some things about us, what you know, superheroes, Pokemon, Legos. All right, there's other things that we're known for. We do all types of nerdy stuff, but we love those three things. Mm -hmm. And with the history of Comic-Con, what, what is all Pokemon Go players looking for? That unknown, because you never know where it's going to pop up. Last year, got the, they got the N, the Y, and the C. 
this year they had nada, nothing, none of them. There was no Pokemon Go uh, special sightings. Uh, it was it was a nope. little disappointing on that end. Yep. Hence disappointments. And another thing, there were no Lego exclusives to New York Comic Con like they were for San Diego Comic Con. Uh, there was a uh, one with Batman, and there was a few other ones uh, that San Diego Comic Con has, which it is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive mm -hmm. that they didn't bring over to New York or mm -hmm. a, a New York form of their own exclusive. So mm -hmm. it, was, it, it was it was very disappointing because I was I was waiting I was looking at it, I was like oh I'm gonna get that one mm -hmm. I'm gonna get that mm -hmm. and none of them were there. So yeah. you know overall we we recommend New York Comic Con but that was disappointing for us. Um, there were some places where you can get Lego minifigs, but nothing exclusive. Right. And, some brickheads. You know, some brickheads. And so it, it, it wasn't a total, but, you know, come on next year. Bring, bring something extra, extra. Yeah. For us. And everyone else. Loot. But they did bring a lot. They brought a lot. This here is a uh, our bed at our Airbnb. After the first day. And this this was this is when we only knew you get uh you know two flags two, two flags. It's all a flag, right? So we have tons of, of comic books. So they're handing out comic books like it's free newspapers out there and different kinds. A lot of exclusive comic books. Yes. Um also my hero academy, um a whole book on um looks like oh, like a like an anime starter, manga starter um, book. So like a little bit of each one to sort of get you interested in things. Uh, right. Buttons, hats. Yeah. Posters. Uh, posters. Tons of posters. Oh, you know what we should do for fun on this one? What should we do? Hello. Hello. We should eat our bug bar. Oh, here. I got a bug bar for you. As like a little extra thanks for watching. We'll eat some bugs for you. We're sort of flying by the state of the pants. I don't know if he really wants to do this right now, but. So, like we say, there, there's tons of free stuff that they give out. And uh, there's this new show that's coming out called Snowpiercers. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember what it's on, actually, what's the streaming site. There's so, so many. AMC. So many streaming sites. AMC. But this is Cricket Protein Bar Peanut Butter and Jelly. So the experience was you you um, watch this, like, short little video and it, told, it, it welcomed you to the, you know, apocalypse, essentially. You're a survivor. You're on a train. And uh, we got posters. There was a poster, a different poster, two different posters each day of Comic-Con. So there were eight total. We only have four. Um, and, like, it's like, here's your first rations. And you take your first rations out. Good and so, so we got a cricket bug bar. And so the thing about the loot is, take it. Like, take all of it. So bring bags for loot. Bring even, back even if it's chocolate peanut butter cricket cricket bar um because even if you don't want it a friend might want it right like i brought some stuff home from a friend's kid why are you giving it to me first why is he giving it to me first because i love her cricket peanut butter and jelly yeah oh a little crunchy that's the cricket <laughs> Oh, I might be the cricket, actually. Oh, I hear the cricket. <laughs> anyway. Well, at least we know these crickets were made in the USA. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time I've seen something like that. Okay. No, I've never eaten a cricket before. Okay. Like cricket like... my... Okay, it tastes jelly now. No. Yeah. me that's not cricket guts. So, I think it's jelly. So if someone handed this to me and didn't tell me there was cricket in it, I wouldn't necessarily be mad. Okay, do you know one cricket has like 16 or 17 grams of protein in it, though? I learned it on the survivalist show one time. So it's a good thing to eat in the apocalypse. I'm okay, now I don't have to make dinner. You can finish your cricket. Yeah, you got a little bit of apricot in here, some strawberries, and some apples, and some good stuff in here. All right. Eat this later. <laughs> That's what she said. Yes, she did. All right, so Lou, take it, get it, have fun with it. All right, follow Comic Con on social media. They're on Facebook, they're on Twitter, they're on Instagram. You want to follow them because then you find out 
when the tickets are going on sale, um, any special things that are coming along. They do things mid-year. There's some chocolate thing going on that we can't go to, but I did get a notification about it. Yeah, we did. So follow them on social media. Have fun. Have all the fun. Have all the fun. All like, the fun. You know that extra stuff that you want to be that's fun and social and mm -hmm. even if even if you're wearing a mask or if you're wearing paint on your face mm -hmm. or or your underwear or your underwear. Hey, you want to go in your underwear? Go in your underwear. Have fun. Dress up. Mm -hmm. Definitely cosplay. It's, it's definitely mm -hmm. worth it. At least at, at least, least one day. At least one day. You know. Mm -hmm. And get to meet your fellow Comic Conners. Absolutely get to know your fellow Comic Conners. We learned so much and even got free stuff because they helped us out. And we, same in return, right? Like, definitely did that. And so you can expect to see um, television shows that are coming out. Uh, we did some sort of promo for the Birch where they're using, which is a Facebook streaming show um that they use pictures from comic-con in their advertising so we were in that um so expect to see television shows and movies and wrestlers and anime and comics and i mean if it's nerdy and falls into any sort of nerdy um awesomeness you can see it at comic-con all right okay anything else to wrap up besides have fun have fun no i i think uh we pretty much Talk about everything that we learned. Once again, this is just the world according to us here at Creativity Corner. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have any cool information about Comic Con, feel free to drop it in the comment mm -hmm. section. Uh, we'll definitely let other people know, and you know. And we'll definitely do another video before we get ready to go next year. Yeah. So we'll we can put your helpful tips in there as well. Yeah, we can. We also want to say that this is How to Comic Con um, presented by Creativity Corner, but it is sponsored by Domino Presents Dot Shop where you can get all of your creativity corner, your nerdgasm, and just your general awesomeness gear. You can um, drink out of my husband's face. Um, or there's a really cute mug with my butt on it now in there too. So um, part of the goddess collection, which I which I actually love. So down below presents that shop. Sponsored this great episode of Creativity Corner Presents Hot Comic Con. So we'll see you next week Thanks sometime. Time, right? And remember, together we will do better. Why? For we are one. And we're out. Bye, everyone. Peace. Comic-Con.